drug-induced liver injury, DILI, happens when medicines damage the liver and almost any drug can cause this issue. Most of the time, DILI is not severe and gets better once you stop taking the medicine. It's crucial to identify and stop the harmful drug quickly to prevent serious liver problems or liver failure. There are no clear risk factors for DILI, but having existing liver problems or certain genetic traits might increase your risk. While DILI symptoms often look like those of other liver diseases, some people might experience symptoms related to an allergic reaction. To treat DILI from drugs or herbal remedies, it's important to stop the drug and get supportive care to ease symptoms. DILI can occur due to the drug's direct toxic effects or immune system reactions, and sometimes both factors can be involved. Medications that are processed by the liver are more likely to cause DILI. To protect your liver, it's good to avoid certain harmful medications like paracetamol. In this video, we'll go over six common medications that can damage your liver, and be sure to stay tuned for the important number five. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch until the end. Let's begin with medication number one, acetaminophen. Acetaminophen, also known globally as paracetamol, is one of the most commonly used over-the-counter medications for pain relief and fever reduction. It is widely regarded for its efficacy and relative safety when taken at recommended doses. However, the safety profile of acetaminophen changes dramatically when dosages exceed the recommended limits, posing a significant risk to liver health. The liver metabolizes acetaminophen, and in the process, a small fraction of the drug is converted into a toxic metabolite called N-acetyl-P-benzoquinone-imine, NAPQE. Under normal conditions, this metabolite is neutralized by glutathione, a protective antioxidant present in the liver. However, when acetaminophen is taken in excessive amounts, the liver's supply of glutathione can be depleted, leading to the accumulation of NAPQI. This toxic buildup can cause severe oxidative stress and damage to liver cells, resulting in acute liver failure. Symptoms of acetaminophen-induced liver damage may include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, confusion, and jaundice. One of the most alarming aspects of acetaminophen toxicity is that the symptoms might not appear until significant damage has already occurred, making early detection challenging. Moreover, the risk of liver damage from acetaminophen is exacerbated by factors such as alcohol consumption and existing liver disease. Alcohol can induce the enzyme systems that convert acetaminophen to its toxic metabolite, thus increasing the risk of liver injury even at lower doses. People with chronic liver conditions are also at higher risk because their livers are already compromised. Therefore, it is crucial for users to adhere strictly to dosage guidelines, typically not exceeding 4,000 mg per day for adults, and to avoid using multiple medications that contain acetaminophen simultaneously. Number 2. Statins Statins are a class of medications commonly prescribed to lower cholesterol levels in the blood, which helps reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. These drugs, including well-known names like atorvastatin, simvastatin, and rosuvastatin, work by inhibiting an enzyme involved in the production of cholesterol in the liver. While statins are generally effective and safe for most people, they can sometimes cause an increase in liver enzymes, a sign that the liver is under stress. This enzyme elevation occurs in a small percentage of patients and is usually asymptomatic, meaning it doesn't cause noticeable symptoms. However, in rare cases, this liver enzyme elevation can indicate serious liver damage. Because of this potential risk, doctors typically monitor liver enzyme levels before starting a patient on statins and periodically during treatment. Regular blood tests help ensure that any signs of liver stress are caught early, allowing for timely intervention. Patients are advised to report any symptoms of liver damage, such as unusual fatigue, weakness, loss of appetite, abdominal pain, dark-colored urine, or yellowing of the skin or eyes, jaundice, to their healthcare provider immediately, 
Additionally, those with a history of liver disease or those who consume significant amounts of alcohol may be at a higher risk of liver complications from statin use. It's also important for patients to avoid other medications and substances that can further strain the liver, such as certain over-the-counter pain relievers and alcohol while taking statins. Despite these concerns, the cardiovascular benefits of statins often outweigh the potential risks for most patients, making them a critical tool in the management of high cholesterol and prevention of heart disease. Number 3. Methotrexate Methotrexate is a potent medication commonly used to treat a variety of conditions, including rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis and certain types of cancer, such as leukemia and lymphoma. Despite its effectiveness in managing these serious illnesses, methotrexate is not without significant risks, particularly concerning liver health. Methotrexate works by interfering with the growth of certain cells, especially those that reproduce quickly, which is why it is effective in cancer treatment and autoimmune diseases where rapid cell growth is a problem. However, this mechanism of action can also negatively impact liver cells, leading to potential liver toxicity. Chronic use of methotrexate can result in elevated liver enzymes, a sign of liver stress or damage, and over time it can lead to more severe conditions such as liver fibrosis or cirrhosis. These conditions involve the progressive scarring of liver tissue, which can impair the liver's ability to function properly, leading to serious health complications. Patients taking methotrexate need to undergo regular liver function tests to monitor the health of their liver. These tests help detect any early signs of liver damage so that timely interventions can be made. Symptoms of liver damage can include fatigue, jaundice, yellowing of the skin and eyes, nausea, vomiting, dark urine, and pain in the upper right side of the abdomen. It is crucial for patients to communicate any of these symptoms to their healthcare provider immediately. Additionally, factors such as alcohol consumption, other medications, and pre-existing liver conditions can increase the risk of methotrexate-induced liver damage. Therefore, patients are often advised to avoid alcohol and discuss any other medications they are taking with their doctor to mitigate these risks. Number 4. Isoniazid Isoniazid, a frontline antibiotic for the treatment and prevention of tuberculosis (TB), plays a crucial role in combating this potentially deadly infection. Despite its efficacy, Isoniazid carries a significant risk of hepatotoxicity, particularly in certain populations. Hepatotoxicity refers to liver damage caused by chemicals. The liver is essential for detoxifying the body, and any impairment can lead to serious health consequences. The risk of liver inflammation or damage from isoniazid increases with age, pre-existing liver conditions, and concurrent use of other hepatotoxic medications. Symptoms of liver damage can include nausea, vomiting, fatigue, abdominal pain, dark urine, and jaundice, yellowing of the skin and eyes. These symptoms may appear within the first few weeks of treatment, necessitating close monitoring, especially during the initial phase of therapy. Regular liver function tests are critical for early detection of any liver abnormalities. These tests typically measure levels of liver enzymes such as alanine transaminase, ALT, and aspartate transaminase, AST, which can indicate liver damage when elevated. Additionally, patients should be counseled to avoid alcohol during isoniazid therapy, as alcohol can exacerbate liver damage. In cases where liver damage is detected, healthcare providers might adjust the dosage or switch to an alternative treatment. Despite these risks, the benefits of using isoniazid to treat and prevent TB often outweigh the potential for liver damage, especially when proper precautions are taken. Number 5. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen, naproxen and aspirin, are among the most commonly used medications for pain relief and inflammation reduction. While these drugs are highly effective for managing acute pain, chronic conditions like arthritis, and even for reducing fever, 
they can pose significant risks to liver health when used excessively or improperly. The liver metabolizes NSAIDs and prolonged or high-dose use can lead to liver enzyme abnormalities, indicating liver stress or damage. This risk is exacerbated in individuals who consume alcohol regularly, as alcohol itself is a liver toxin, and the combined effect can overwhelm the liver's ability to process these substances safely. Additionally, certain individuals may be more susceptible to liver damage from NSAIDs, such as those with pre-existing liver conditions, the elderly, or those with other health complications that require long-term NSAID use. Symptoms of liver damage can be subtle and easily overlooked, often manifesting as fatigue, nausea, abdominal pain or jaundice, which is the yellowing of the skin and eyes. It's crucial for users of NSAIDs to adhere to the recommended dosages and to use the lowest effective dose for the shortest possible duration. Regular medical supervision is advised, especially for long-term users, to monitor liver function through blood tests. Furthermore, patients should avoid taking multiple NSAIDs simultaneously and be wary of over-the-counter medications that might contain NSAIDs as part of their formulation. Number 6. Amiodarone Amiodarone is a potent anti-arrhythmic medication used to manage and treat various types of serious irregular heartbeats, tachycardia or fibrillation and atrial fibrillation. Despite its effectiveness in stabilizing cardiac rhythms, amiodarone is with significant adverse effects, particularly on the liver. Liver toxicity is one of the most serious complications arising from prolonged amiodarone use. This medication is known to cause elevations in liver enzymes, which can indicate liver stress or damage. In some cases, amiodarone can lead to severe liver conditions such as cirrhosis, hepatitis, fatty liver, and even liver failure. The exact mechanism through which amiodarone induces liver toxicity is not fully understood, but it is believed to involve direct hepatocellular injury and mitochondrial dysfunction, leading to oxidative stress and inflammation. Patients on long-term amiodarone therapy are typically monitored closely through regular liver function tests, LFTs, which measure the levels of liver enzymes like alanine transaminase, ALT, and aspartate transaminase, AST, in the blood. Elevated levels of these enzymes can signal liver damage, prompting the need for further evaluation and possible adjustment of the medication regimen. It is crucial for patients to report any signs of liver dysfunction promptly, symptoms such as unexplained fatigue, jaundice, yellowing of the skin and eyes, dark urine, Persistent nausea or vomiting and abdominal pain can indicate liver injury. These symptoms warrant immediate medical attention and may necessitate discontinuation or dosage adjustment of amiodarone under the guidance of a healthcare provider. Moreover, patients with pre-existing liver conditions or those who consume alcohol regularly may be at heightened risk for amiodarone-induced liver damage. Therefore, a thorough medical history and ongoing risk assessment are essential components of managing patients on this medication. Lifestyle modifications, such as avoiding alcohol and maintaining a healthy diet, can also help mitigate liver damage risk. In some cases, alternative antiarrhythmic medications with a lower risk of liver toxicity may be considered, depending on the patient's overall health and specific cardiac condition. In conclusion, while amiodarone is an effective medication for controlling serious cardiac arrhythmias, its potential to cause significant liver damage necessitates vigilant monitoring and proactive management. Regular liver function tests, awareness of liver dysfunction symptoms, and open communication with healthcare providers are vital for ensuring that the benefits of amiodarone therapy outweigh its risks. Now it's time to give you some bonus health tips. So here are three natural herbs known for their potential to support liver health, especially after damage from over-medication. Number 1. Milk Thistle, Silibum Marianum. Milk thistle is a prominent herb renowned for its liver-protective properties, primarily attributed to its active compound, silymarin. 
Silymarin is a complex of flavonoids that exhibit potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, crucial for combating oxidative stress and inflammation within the liver. When the liver is damaged by over-medication or other toxins, its ability to detoxify and regenerate can be compromised. Silymarin helps mitigate this damage by neutralizing harmful free radicals and reducing oxidative stress, which can otherwise lead to further liver cell damage. Moreover, silymarin has been shown to stabilize cell membranes, making it more difficult for toxins to penetrate liver cells and cause harm. It also enhances the production of glutathione, a key antioxidant that plays a critical role in liver detoxification processes. Clinical studies suggest that milk thistle may improve liver function markers and promote regeneration of liver tissue, making it a valuable adjunct in supporting liver health, particularly following episodes of over-medication. Number 2. Turmeric, Curcuma longa. Turmeric, derived from the rhizome of the Curcuma longa plant, has been celebrated for its medicinal properties for centuries, particularly due to its active compound curcumin. Curcumin is renowned for its potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects, which are especially beneficial for supporting liver health. Chronic inflammation and oxidative stress are key contributors to liver damage, and curcumin's ability to neutralize free radicals and reduce inflammatory markers helps mitigate these harmful processes. Research suggests that curcumin can enhance liver function by protecting hepatocytes, liver cells, from damage and promoting their regeneration. Additionally, it has been shown to support detoxification processes by modulating liver enzymes and boosting bile production, thereby aiding in the elimination of toxins. Its effects on liver health are further supported by studies indicating that curcumin can reduce levels of liver enzymes that are often elevated in conditions of liver damage. However, it's important to note that the bioavailability of curcumin is relatively low, which means it is not easily absorbed by the body. To improve its effectiveness, it's often recommended to consume turmeric with black pepper, which contains piperine, a compound that significantly enhances the absorption of curcumin. Number 3. Dandelion Root, Taraxacum officinale. Dandelion Root, Taraxacum officinale, has been widely recognized in traditional medicine for its beneficial effects on liver health and detoxification. Its use dates back centuries across various cultures, where it has been valued not only as a nutritious food, but also as a potent medicinal herb. The root of the dandelion plant is particularly noted for its diuretic properties, which can aid in the elimination of excess fluids from the body and support the kidneys in their role of filtering out toxins. This diuretic action helps alleviate the burden on the liver, allowing it to function more efficiently. Additionally, dandelion root is believed to stimulate bile production, a crucial process for digestion and the breakdown of fats. This increased bile flow can aid in the removal of waste products and toxins from the liver, contributing to overall liver health. The root contains several compounds including sesquitapine lactones, which possess anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. These compounds help reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the liver, potentially aiding in the repair and regeneration of liver cells. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new herbal treatments, especially if you're dealing with liver damage or taking other medications. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to HealthQuest and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. And see you next time.